All right, we're gonna talk about the pulley anchor system when beach camping in the Everglades National Park. Absolutely critical based on the tides here in the 10,000 Islands. And the way that we go about this is, we first put some type of stake in the beach, whether it's an anchor with a clip or a beach stake like this. So that's gonna be a point here on the beach at the highest tide point. We're then gonna put a mooring anchor out, out beyond the lowest point of the tide. And the purpose of this is we're gonna have our boat in between, but we have no control over the tides, high or low tide, and two things. One, we don't want our boat to be high and dry, and two, we don't wanna to have to get in the water to get to our boat. So the pulley system is what allows us to when we come in from fishing or, or sightseeing or whatever, we pull the boat up to the beach, for example, on high tide. We unload the boat, everyone gets off the boat. We then use the pulley system where we cleat it off to the back of the boat, we run the rope through the beach stake, we put the rope through the mooring anchor, and we cleat it off, very important, to the bow of the boat. Always have the bow of the boat facing into the wind or facing out to the mooring. That way, regardless of what time of night it is, your boat, you can rest assured your boat is gonna be floating because before you go to bed, you're gonna pull your boat out to the lowest point. Your boat's gonna be floating regardless of the tide. If you wake up, for example, in a high tide and your boat's floating 100 or 150 feet out there, you pulley it in so you can easily get on the boat without having to get wet. Some beach sites require much more than 100 feet. Other beach sites, you're safe with 75 to 100 feet. Knowing your tides is a very important part of this, and knowing that tide impact on the beach you're camping is equally, if not more important.